voice acting. Oh dear. Oh, we're in a, we're in a space space car. Interesting. I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain po rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. I didn't. I wasn't expecting future tech stuff. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. Why does this look like Croydon? <laughs> <laughs> to find a vantage point, someplace high enough to get a signal through the radio, call for help. It genuinely looks like a council estate in England. Like every council estate in England. This wasn't over. Even those houses, the house with the sky dish on it. I grew up in a house like that. <laughs> System critical. Cool. Yeah, proper tank controls, left, right, forwards. That is exactly how I'd expect this to be. This is where I live. It's, it's, yeah. This is so cool. I, is this, is this in the, oh God. This is out my street, what the fuck. <laughs> now it's 28 days later, yeah. It's gone from cyberpunk to 28 days later. 28 cyberpunks later. That's probably their end game really, isn't it? Uh, press right to toggle Micah's torch. That didn't do anything. It's... <laughs> so, I'll leave you in a little secret there. What happened there is it said press the right stick in order to toggle Micah's torch. I was pressing the left stick. <laughs> All this forehead and no brains. My other right. Yeah, exactly. My other right. System critical. System malfunction. This looks so good. Like, for its style. It looks a bit blocky, but I think that's exactly how it's intended to look. Press A to interact when seek is displayed. Uh, oh. Of course. Seek. <gasps> is it a first aid spray? A medical repair spray. It's been left in the back of the ambulance. Take the repair spray. Yes. Look at that. It's a fade spray. I'm not sure I should be able to turn like that while I'm doing it. Open Mike's inventory. And... Oh, whoa, look at this. This is like Resident Evil meets uh, Signalis. This is amazing. The eye in the background. That's so cool. A revolver. I don't need a revolver. I need my first aid spray. I have a lighter. I have a <laughs> the, the most '80s futuristic radio I've ever seen in my life. Uh, revolver ammo, face rate, use. Mmm, links. <laughs> Press X to run. <laughs> Is this set in the UK? What's over here? There's a light over here, so. <clears throat> to be fair, the revolver would take care of a medical issue. Tell me you've lived in America too long without telling me you've lived in America too long. <laughs> the road's been blocked by an old supply lorry. Uh, I should focus on finding somewhere high enough to get signal through. Okay. 
Uh, London, 2062. The elite live in monolithic towers. They never need to leave with AI machines completing all jobs. The commoners live in collapsing Victorian housing, fighting for food scraps. Green, green, is that off the actual... Is that the actual synopsis? Because if so, that's pretty cool. <gasps> There's a broken house there. Maybe I'll see, like, the living room I lived in as a child. Yeah, I mean, there's not it's not too dissimilar to the kind of house I grew up in. No, I'm sure I've seen 20 films that could fit there. What? <laughs> you had me there. I won't lie. You had me there. This is not, you know what's really nice? This is such a me problem. The rain doesn't sound too aggressive. Like it's quite a nice sort of like It it doesn't sound like hard rain. Which I know it's mental, but Was that me making that noise? Oh yeah. No, maybe it wasn't actually. Tank controls. God, this is what the fuck is this? Yeah, what is this? An old industrial mech sits lifeless, collapsed into a residential building. Seek, seek. Oh, that was seek. The animation of the rain landing on the floor is a bit big, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit big sometimes. It's from the Gundam Wars of 2054. Ah, the Gundam Wars. Oh, no. Do we know what bin it is? <laughs> Can someone... <laughs> Can someone check the Bindicator? Look at this. That's... Oh. Chef's kiss. No. It's, it's slightly unrealistic because one hasn't been ploughed over by a car, but <laughs> otherwise, spot on. <laughs> Speed limit 20 miles must be set in Wales. Maybe it is. I, d I honestly don't know. I'm surprised it's in England. It's got to be in the UK though, right? It's got to be. Uh, no, observation report has been added to documents. Do I have to read the observation report? Michael, honey, you might want to be sitting down with us. Is this the observation report? No. What is this then? I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel, but this is too important to me. I'm losing sleep over this shit, and I keep I keep running through my head over and over again. Each time, I feel like I'm feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I don't need you to understand. I just need you to know that this isn't about you and me or some one-way trip. I'm not going there to die. I'm going there because I'm going there because I need to know something. The team's all checked out. The rain on the screen is a bit annoying when you're trying to read. Uh, the team's all checked out. We've got a way in and an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it, and this whole thing will be just another job. Please don't hate me. I love you. Oh, there's no signature on it. I don't know who that's from. The Vindicator sounds like the Vindicator, <laughs> and therefore hazardous. Oh, wait, I didn't look at the observation report. Observation duty report. This paper is covered in rows of numbers and dates. Some lines appear to be marked with a red X. It seems to be some sort of observation report, possibly monitoring activities of various residents. That's neighbourhood watch for you. Where am I going now? Show me. It looks like the street was intentionally closed off, but what were they trying to keep out? Never mind. Need to get a signal through to tax. I think I saw an alleyway leading to the apartment block back by that rusty mech. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that. I would have... That's... In, indie devs take note. That's a very good way of saying, dumbass, you went the wrong way. <laughs> My neighbor Pat keeps a similar report. Everyone's neighbor Pat keeps a similar report. <laughs> There's always one. Oh, is it here? It's here. Of course it is. An observation report appears to be some sort of observation report. Shocked Pikachu face. <laughs> oh, can I go on the... Wait, is this a proper UK? Yeah, it is. It's got one of those shit little spongy things and a definitely not safe to use. But... Oh, you can fucking spin it. <laughs> 10 out of 10.
Well, where am I going? Uh, I'm going in here, aren't I? That's where I'm going. This is the thingy. I'd like to be able to look. Like, I don't know if that's a thing. Can I look? No. I know it's set. <laughs> you train moods to ride a roundabout. Fantastic. <laughs> but it's someone else has always kids on it. Pfft, fucking kids. Okay, cool. That's... Yeah, sweet. I need to find my way in at some point. You grew up on a state very similar to this. I didn't grow up on an estate very similar to this. I grew up in one of the houses we just left. Basically. It was crap. Like, that could be the back of my street. Like, legit. That could be the back of my street. I say my street, but... Oh, God. Brad. Oh, no. Brad Vickers is dead. Um... Yeah, it was a council house, and after uh, my dad left, um, it just went back into the hands of the council, but we'd stopped speaking to him since then. Oh, wow, that's really good. Occupation civil servant, condition deceased, caused blood loss, void. Oh, that's... That's really nice. That is really nice. Um, yeah, which is a shame because oh, there's a there's a window there. I didn't see the window. Do you know why I didn't see the window? Because I can't look fucking up. That's why. Because that just spins me right round, baby, right round, like a record player. I probably should have seen some of these environmental signposts. To be fair, I feel like it's me. I feel like I'm the problem, rather than rather than it being the game. Seek, push. Up is in there. I'm like a dog. I can't look up. The only thing missing is an underpass that went under the motorway where you didn't go after dark because bad kids hung out there and beat people up. A bit like the movie Harry Brown. <laughs> Simon, are you a coming of age story? Is this, <laughs> is this what you're telling us? You know, walking, talking, British coming of age story. Local lad does good. Right, I'm going to sit my ass back down. I stood up for a few minutes and now my back's sore, so. <laughs> I look like I've just collapsed. Hello, hello. Is it me you're looking for? Open your mind. Right, wait, what was that? You grew up in a really rough area in a really rough council estate. Yeah, I can sympathize with that. Did you this is did you have the fighting families? This is something that probably a lot of people had, but like people on council estates definitely had like fighting families. Staff only. I like that it's a UK sticker. Storage box locked with a large padlock. Maybe I can find a way to pry it open. Maybe considering you're some sort of wee look at you no know, look at you not walking. <laughs> the neighbours, yeah, for sure, yeah. There was always like, we lived next door. We were quite fortunate. We lived next door to the old woman, right, whose name was Alice. Um, and we had... Oh, a map. We used to... What? We used to be happy. I thought... Honest to, honest to God, I thought I was going to say. We used to be a nation. We used to be a nation. <laughs> now we all fall. This is what happens when AI happens. Uh, the lock is blocked with some sort of expanding foam. Fucking chavs. <laughs> Yeah, we grew up next to the old woman, but there were definitely a number of fighting families. And then um, one of the families <laughs> moved out. They were evicted. Uh, and we got a, an even worse fighting family who would literally start street-side brawls with other families, which was fucking amazing. And they had a horse as well. Because <laughs> it was Blackpool. <laughs> the gate is locked tight. Oh, wait, I didn't turn my torch on. Shut with an electronic lock. What a, a dingy... I'm I'm digging the dingy tech noir feel of this. Like, the realistic tech side of it. Like, everything's got a fancy smart lock, but the place is still falling to bits. You know? Yep, got that. Thanks. Unlocked. Ooh, that felt like Silent Hill. Ooh. Ooh, I had flashbacks from Woodside Apartments then. 
Is there something in the toilet? There better be something in the toilet. That can go on the horror bingo card. Something in the toilet. More packing boxes. I guess whoever lived here never got a chance to leave. Oh. <laughs> yep, good, good tank controls. Definitely unwieldy. The old Tektroni video phone. Those things were so bulky. So it's like a weird mix of like high tech and not. You know? It's like what was high tech when you were in the sixties? Like if you if you watch those uh, like documentaries of what will life be like in the year 2000 where we'll all have our own personal moon and a robot butler all that sort of thing it's kind of like that but real <laughs> that makes sense the Jets, yeah, it's going to be like the Jetsons this person, oh this person's turbo dead Ooh. why'd you do that buddy Mr. Andy yeah uh, I guess I got the wrong side of someone, nothing to lose. Oh, that's unfortunate. Am I going to steal that pipe? I feel like I'm going to try and steal that pipe. No, no, apparently not. There's a lot of blood. <laughs> Gun food. Is this Fallout? It's not Fallout, no. It's Fallout South Croydon. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a messy game. Yeah, this is. There are some games that say inspired by Silent Hill. And there are other games that make you blink and think you are playing Silent Hill. <laughs> it's good. One person did this. A lone dev. The fuck? Was that that light coming out? Why are her hands so big? One person did this. <laughs> Another pipe. Uh, you have to be pretty sure to lie down comfortably in one of these things. Showers just make more sense. Same. Absolutely say. I don't think, other than a jacuzzi, I don't think I've ever been in a bath that's fit. I've seen other games made by one person and they were very good. Did you, Inferno, do you, can, do you know any of them? Like, I don't mind if they're not horror. But, like, single dev, I'm always astounded by single dev projects. Like, obviously, Undertale and Stardew Valley. I know those, but... News article added to documents. Let's read it. Stardew. Yeah, Stardew. You, wait, utility bill? Where do you get the utility bill from? The utility bill showing several overdue payments. It looks like it. it even has the word council in the top right hand corner. Jesus Christ. Final notice. The payment date suggests a monthly charge had almost quadrupled prior to when the residents stopped paying. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, social enrichment charity Sherwood announces monumental investment to revamp Barnsden's infrastructure and economy. Barnsden, where's Barnsden? I thought Sherwood. I was like, is that near me? I think Bramble might have been one dev too, although I'm not sure. Really? I don't. Have I played Bramble? I don't think I played Bramble. The Submachine series. Do you mean Submachine or Subnautica? It used to be flashy. Submachine. I don't know what Submachine is. It's remaking them into an engine right now. I've never heard of them. Submachine. Can someone put that in a note for me, please? Uh, in a groundbreaking move set to redefine Barnsden's landscape, Sherwood, a philanthropic, a, a philanthropic, a philanthropic organization. Again, I can speak. I promise. I have mastered. I've mastered. I have studied English quite a lot. <clears throat> Has declared plans for transformative investments aimed at revitalizing the city. That's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. It's law, but it's that's more bore than law. Jesus. Yee. Oh, resident. 
M. Thurston, unemployed, deceased, cardiovascular failure. It's... What is it? From Stalin Hog. Take the room key. Yes. He's got one of those headsets that Simon Stalin Hog draws on some of his some of his people. Not Tales from the Loop, the other one. Oh, someone's bound to know this. I've got the art book in the other room. It feels inspired by by that. Oh, Morgan food. Oh, those games were point-and-click puzzlers, but the atmosphere was really awesome. That's cool. Nope. A filthy old bathtub. A pool of stale water sits in the bottom of the tub. Gross. Anything in the toilet? Nope. I always wonder. Oh, hello. You don't think submachine would fit the stream? It's <laughs> brilliant. Our Kotak came to life then, for a brief moment. Gross. I'm not touching any of this. Yeah, that's that seems fair. I just wondered why there was a red black, red blinky light. Eee. What happened to you, friend? More death. So many of these people didn't make it out. I don't get to know what happened to them, though. Wait, was that a hole? No. Nope, no hole, no door. Just blinky lights. So I wonder if that means I'm getting a bit of a signal now. I'm a little bit higher. Oh, no, wait. I always go this way. That was confusing. Oh, there isn't anything this way. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to something fun that I definitely shouldn't have done? You're thinking Inspiration Grid by Simon Stalin. Possibly, yes. Yeah, definitely possibly. Um, I've ridden one of these one of these trolleys before. It's <laughs> fucking dangerous. Don't do it. I was very, very bored and very, very dumb. <laughs> we used to race them down a uh, warehouse when I worked in a biscuit factory. Wait, did we come from this way? Oh, we'll find out. I forgot I can run. We probably came from this way. Yeah, we came from this way. Which means we've been in there. Oh, hang on a minute. Item. 2.3. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Love that. Oh, I'm at 2.3. Brilliant. Uh, nope, that one. Use. Yeah! <laughs> I did a thing! Hooray! It won't budge. Eee! The floor's collapsed, leading to the room below. Jump down. Well, you always want to jump down in a horror game, but I just want to explore this. Oh, no, there is, there is nothing to explore here. Okay. There's now to explore. Jump down. Jump in the hole. Is that a bomb? Is that a fucking bomb? The missile lies dormant, buried under the rubble. Is it active? I don't know what... what to, sorry? What the fuck? Where is that noise? No, it's definitely over here somewhere. Is it the phone? It's the phone. Was there a light on it? Hello. Is, uh, is anyone there? Oh. Still 
a rampant AI. Are you talking about I'd place cash money on it. Good voice acting. Oh, save game. Excellent. That's also the same symbol as the save symbol from Silent Hill. That's also cool. <laughs> can I unlock this? It jammed and won't open. Okay. Can I now go in here and see what's in here? Now that I'm not being... Oh, What the fuck? Is this a ghost event? What the fuck is going on? Jesus. Oh, adolescent died of asphyxiation. Damn. Is there actually a... Oh, it's just a, it's a body under a sheet. It's okay, YouTube. It's okay. You couldn't pay me to sleep in this place. All right, Judgy. Some people don't have any choice. Oh, there's an axe in the wall. Oh, it's a hammer. I get it. Hammer lies embedded into a family portrait. Take the claw hammer. Sure. I'm never not going to take the claw hammer. Get wait. Can I use the claw hammer? Or is that is it an item? Or oh, it's just it's just an item. I was like, is it a melee weapon? Maybe it's a melee weapon. Are we using the trope of the character is looking at stuff that's interesting, or are we not? I don't think we are. Uh, doesn't oh. weird shadows doesn't look like there's anything in there <laughs> hit the missile with the hammer right the door's jammed and it won't open so hammer oh well that's not what I thought was going to happen oh there's a big red X here radiator appears to be damaged barely hanging onto the wall move the radiator yeah there would be water pissing out of that if the wall was still on. The wall is water damaged, exposing the plasterboard behind it. I'm able to break through with the right tool. I don't know how realistic this is because there's, that would probably be brick as well. Although it's council housing, so it might not be. Yeah, it's probably just going to be plasterboard and tiles. Probably thinking a bit too much about that. Right, awesome. What's well, this way, first and foremost? Uh, so this way is... Wait, is that back the way I came? Oh no, I'm on a different floor now, aren't I? Wait, so I've gone down a floor. That's unfortunate. Oh, this door's also open. What's in here? There is a ginormous bathroom. So there's someone died in here. This is ginormous for a toilet. Oh, blue light. What is that noise? Small child's bed. Various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry or dot dot dot. It's probably the or dot dot dot. What is that noise? It sounds like a ball bouncing. Ammo. It's a cute unit. <laughs> How to posh up cardboard when they use some in the local ones. Yeah. Wait, is this a, is this blocked? Kitchen's filled with all rubbish bags.
yeah, I just don't know where that noise is coming from. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Let's go and explore elsewhere. I don't think... Oh, hello. Sean Booley. Classif Occupation classified. Deceased myocardial infraction. Oh, uh, hello. A portable cell battery sits wired to a broken diagnostic device. Take the portable battery. Sure. It doesn't look very portable. Is that damages devi device is damaged beyond repair. Locked. What can I use this with? A portable battery. Inspect. A portable battery. The casing is damaged and leaking battery acid. Oh. Unfortunate. We should probably get that fixed. Oh, wait. Can I go out there? No. Go this way. Oh, this is where the noise is coming from. That would be where the noise is coming from. Can I take this? An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails is embedded in the door. Take the makeshift clock. This feels very silent too. And I'm going to guess you're going to burst through now, right? Hello. I'm just I'm just going to I'm just going to equip my my bat or my gun. Hello. Hello. Friend. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I gotta go. I don't know what you are. What the hell? That's so cool. Oh, I shot this head off. It's not dead. Fucking die. That's super cool. I like those enemies. Whoa. Oh, this person's very dead. Resident. Helen Bridges, deceased, cause unknown. Occupation OT? OT? Oh, occupational therapist. Oh, there's a safe next to you. A personal safe is mounted to the wall. Graduation. When did you graduate, Helen? Tell me your secrets. Is this when you graduated? 30. A young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a child. Can't be more than three or four years old. Okay. Aha. Three girls at university graduation. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. Any more photos? Ah. First Plus Health UK. A letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, 4th of October 2025. Okay. And how do I figure this out then? Ah, here we go. University. University diploma hangs on the wall. Uh, award for the University of Kingsbury to Helen Bridges, the degree of Doctor of Medicine. When what? When was this though? There's no date on this. 
No, you shit. You're supposed to give me an adequate solution. So, she... Wait. Wait, do I need to reverse engineer this? Do I need to, like, socially engineer this? Because, I mean, I could. And the bridges, 4th of October, 2025, yeah. Because if she's 30 here, she was born in 2025, so 2055, she had a three or four year old. She was 30 there. How long do people go to uni for? Three girls at uni, you got one of them to be heavily pregnant. So what, you're 19, 20? Wait, did that letter say anything? Uh, letter? Oh no, it's, it wasn't. Confirming how the page details along time of date of birth. Chestonshire. I like that they've made it slightly. They've obscured it very slightly. Like <laughs> not actually making it a real place. Uh, so, wait. Do I? I wonder if I need this. Right, come on, people. So she's born in 2025. She was born in 2025, she was 13 in 2055. What's today's date? As in, in game, obviously. Uh, is there anything that tells me the date in game? Documents? His system just, yeah, his system just the thing. No, I'm just. Uh, so 30, should have been 2055 when she had her 30th and that kid was three or four years old 2055 three or four years old 2052 or 2051 if he's three or four years old so 2052 or 2051 nailed it large metal key hands in the back of the safe take the key yep thanks very much uh, let's examine the key. What does the key say? Inspect. An iron key found in the safe has the tag spare gate. Right, does that mean there's now going to be enemies? No, I've encountered an enemy. Oh, well, let's go this way. <laughs> Yep, there are enemies. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm going gun ho, it's a demo. Uh right, spare gate. Oh no, it won't be there, will it? Fuck off. Fucking do on mate. <laughs> I just kicked to the head. Ah, uh, um, uh, do you mind? Oh, shit. I'm out of ammo. Fuck! Uh, maybe we could equip the bat. Oh, shit. Die! Kick it to death! There we go. You nailed it. The gate is a lot tight. Uh, no, that's fine. I, I want to explore this room first. Just a quick a quick sneak peek. What were you looking at then? Nothing. Not only are you not looking at shinies, you're looking at unimportant stuff. You're looking at scenery. That's not what I want you to focus on. I want you to focus on items. Uh, oh, food. Nom, 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 nom. Gun snacks. Uh, is this no? Ugh, that has a lot of blood. Okay, 
So, spare gates. Let me just... Nope, not the hammer. It's definitely not the hammer. Use. It's unlocked. Awesome. Thanks for playing the early demo of Hollow Body. I'm hard at work bringing the rest, best possible experience to new players and fans of the genre. Hollow Body is currently planned for release later this year. The full game will feature professional voice acting, an original soundtrack, post-game unlocks, and a uniquely personal narrative. If you would like to help support Hollow Body in the lead-up to release, wishlisting is the best way to show Steam that this game is worth promoting to new players. Additionally, for updates on the game's progress and the opportunity to join our public beta test, you can sign up for the following email address. So that is the hollow body demo. I've seen it pop up on social media a lot. It was way more surprising than I thought it would be. It was, firstly, it was set in the UK, which really took me by surprise. Secondly, it was really good. Like it was solid. The fact that it was made by one person is quite a surprise. There was decent voice acting in it. There was good writing in it. There was good action in it, that sort of thing. Weirdly, the, the combat felt a bit more fluid than I thought it would, which kind of is a bit reminiscent of playing Silent Hill 2 when you play as James Sunderland. You're not really supposed to be sort of uh, good at fighting. He's supposed to be a bit clumsy by design. But in this, you kind of feel like you are supposed to be good at fighting and firing a gun and swinging a baseball bat filled with nails and stuff like that. So it kind of makes sense. I'm definitely going to play this when it comes out. I've already wishlisted it. 100% going to play when it comes out. There's some really creepy bits as well where like a music box will just randomly turn on for no apparent reason. Actually made me shudder a little bit. And it's just this general creepy vibe. Like you're going into this contaminated area and I don't know, there's elements of Simon Stalinhag's inspiration there where he's, you know, the guy died with a big VR headset on and he's sort of all husk-like. I, I really like it. I'm here for this. I'm definitely here for this. And I hope you're here for it too. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to like, if you want to uh, support the channel, you can like, share, and subscribe. But until next time, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you later.